we are good to go yes we can begin principal ma'am we can begin na yes we can begin okay ma'am good morning and a very warm welcome to to our management principal madam our guests for today's program and all present for this national webinar on mind mapping for success before we begin shall we all rise for the national anthem mayu could you please help us janagana mana adhinayak jay rahe bharat bhagya vidhata punjab sindh gujarat maratha dravida utkala vanga himachal yamuna ganga चल जल तरंगा तव शुभ नाम जागे तव शुभ आशीष मागे गाहे तव जय गाधा जन गण मंगल दायक जय हे today when we look back we see that all of us had a struggling time and still we have managed to come out of it we not only feel happy but also understand that in these few months we have learned new things trying to adjust with the situation and winning it over everyone therefore requires a motivator a person who will motivate in these challenging times for us at vivek we have a strong motivator a principal dr vijita shetty ma'am she is a great drive for all of us she has been a support and is always ready to help and uh, make our uh, uh, make our situation a win win situation i request madam on this occasion to kindly share a few words over to you ma'am thank you professor shifali on behalf of vivek college of commerce i welcome you all for the national level webinar on mind mapping for success i think we have a very very good speaker for today's uh, webinar mr mehrosh randarya i welcome him on behalf of vivek college of commerce i think he is one of the few internationally recognized nlp trainer and uh, let me just uh, put it across that uh, vivek college of commerce till now has completed more than 21 webinars uh, till date and uh, what we had uh, we had different different webinars on different issues and focusing on different stakeholders uh, we had uh, webinars on wellness we had webinar on how to improve and create wealth how we had webinar on wisdom today's webinar is very different because in today's webinar we will we'll be talking about wealth wisdom and wellness wellness as a combination for success and this becomes a unique webinar for all of us uh, i uh, congratulate the department of business communication head professor shifali naranje and the entire team of vivek who is uh, helping her in organizing this national level webinar and also congratulations to the technical team and best wishes to all of them and i also uh, invite all the faculty those who are listening to us through youtube were those who are across the nations and as well as the students and other stakeholders the my best wishes and i'm sure there is a lot of take away from this uh... thank you ma'am for those inspiring words moving ahead with the webinar 
the theme of the webinar mind mapping is a re visual representation of our thought process it is said that everything begins in the mind this webinar will try to focus on the practical application of mind maps like organizing thoughts presenting problem solving planning etc it gives me immense pleasure to introduce to you all our dynamic speaker mr mehrosh randeria the w3 coach as ma'am has rightly put forward w3 stands for wealth wisdom wellness according to him all these three w's require equal attention for a balanced life sir has a long list of things to his credit i will just name a few of it he is a trainer a coach a speaker he has a number of things to his uh, credit to start off with his educational qualification sir is a ca a certified financial planner chartered wealth manager masters in financial management internationally certified neuro linguistic programming trainer he has a number of awards to his credit to name a few ishma gold award 2015 as india's first and only wealth wisdom wellness coach the entrepreneur excel award 2016 for outstanding contribution and selfless service to the society 13th position in all india adult memory championship 2014 gold medalist for master trainer of musical windows memory system sir has an experience of almost 18 years working with corporates like hr leaders ceos sales marketing directors and many more he has a number of companies under his belt to name a few where he has worked he has worked with bank of america canadian consulate ernest and young hayfield barclays eurokids mahindra geo sipla cet to name a few sir has conducted more than 600 workshops trained more than 4500 individuals and has worked across 12 plus nationalities we are honored and delighted to have you sir with us i now request you to kindly start off with the session thank you thank you very much ma'am for the warm introduction and uh, thank you uh, principal ma'am as well and thank you to the entire team of uh, vivek college for allowing me to share my whatever wisdom i can share over here with uh, esteemed people like you it's my pleasure my privilege to be here so friends uh, today we are going to talk about a very interesting topic which is called as mind mapping and uh, i would just like to ask you all questions as we go ahead so I'll, i'll be making it quite interactive okay now that's my style i i don't i don't like to do a just a one way uh, lecturing because before you get bored i will get bored that way so i would like you to type down in the chat box that what do you think is mind mapping you can type in you can type in in the comment box in the chat box i'll be seeing over here yeah understanding our thinking of mind okay yeah representation of our thoughts yes understanding yourself yeah okay these are the understanding yourself is um is one of the outcomes one of the results of mind mapping what exactly is mind mapping what do you think it's a pictorial representation yeah it's about using visuals using um, drawing and um representing your thoughts on paper just the way in which they are in your head so we will see a lot of it today we will see how we use it where we use it and um, what is the best way to make good use of this so let me start my presentation as well yes
So to put your thoughts and ideas and aspiration together and recollecting. Yes, these are all applications and powerful uses of mind mapping. So I call this as using mind mapping for your success. And uh, me being a W three coach, wherein I help you to uh, you know um, sharpen your skills in all the three Ws of life. I feel that mind map is very important in firstly understanding the way you are thinking. putting your thoughts in the way that they are happening in your head right now and um, we will see the way we are used to putting it on paper right now so far and how this is a different uh, way of doing it all together okay uh, no it is not a prediction tool it is about a tool for your own self and it's i would say it's a 360 degree completely holistic thinking to thinking tool mind mapping is also known as the swiss army knife of the brain you may have all seen a swiss army knife you are seeing it on the picture also over here it's like just as a swiss army knife has multiple uses multiple applications same way when you use a mind map it will have multiple applications you are seeing a small mind map over here at the side of the picture of the uh, swiss army knife So you are saying how mind map can be used in business, in education, in community, for personal growth and development, for creativity and innovation as well. Now, I'm sure you are curious to understand that exactly what is this and how do we use it. So, as we dive into it, let's start with a quick activity. I am going to uh, tell you a particular word, okay? And I want you to write down. as many words as you can from that word okay let's do a quick uh, demo before i give you the actual word let's say for example if the word is play what words would come to your mind from the child yeah what else go on happy yeah ground fun time fun, yeah. yes fun times yeah playground so like that whatever word i tell you i want you to write down all the words that come to your mind from that particular word okay the word is not play this was just to give you an example the word which i want you to write down is work so don't don't write in the chat box over here write it keep a paper and pen with you and write it over there write all the words which come to your mind from the word work i'm sure you are having your notepads to make notes of this session so use that notepad to write down the all the words that come to your mind from the word work i'll give you 3 minutes for this don't write in the chat box write it on paper
Yeah, one minute more. Write down as many words as you can from the word work. And paper. Write down on your paper with your pen. Okay, so let's pause over here. How many words did you come up with? Just type the number in the chat box. And um, how did you come up with these words? Generally, I am guessing that you would have made a list of it. Okay, eleven words. You may have made a list of um, all the words one below the other, right? That is the way we are conditioned to think. That is the way we generate more ideas, right? Ten words, six words, twelve words. Okay, good. Now, twenty-eight words. Wow, that's interesting. So, um, the process which we are used to while we are thinking and doing things, generally the way we are conditioned to write down one below the other, even when we are making a bullet point list, um, that is known as a linear thinking process. I'm now going to invite you. to do the same activity in a different way i will give you a different word now okay and again i'll ask you to come up with as many words as you can using that word but this time i want you to do it differently i want you to take a piece of paper or a uh, blank page hold that page in a landscape form so i guess we all know what portrait and landscape is so rather than holding it this way in a portrait form hold it in a landscape form okay now in the center of that page in the center of pa that paper uh draw a small circle like this and that circle could be a size of a coin let's say a 2 rupee coin that's all and the word which i tell you you will draw that word in the center of that circle okay now when i say draw that word your drawing doesn't have to be very great we are not this is not a drawing workshop so just draw it the way whatever way it means to you in the circle that's the first step for example if if my word is uh, play what can i draw for play what kind of thoughts can come for a play yeah simplistically i can say a bat and a ball and you see how this bat and ball is it, it doesn't even look like a bat and a ball actually but for me if it is a bat and a ball it's fine for me so just draw whatever representation you have of that in your mind just a simple sketch your drawing doesn't have to take more than 2 or 3 seconds it could be just any kind of simple now the words which keep coming to your mind start plotting them on branches around this circle something like this these are some of the words which you had mentioned right from play what do you think of you say fun ground exercise friends drama kids cricket so as and when words keep coming to your mind just create a branch the branch need not be a straight line it can be a curved also and draw the branch and write the word on top of the branch okay now this is kind of the first level words now for each of them you think okay um play and cricket play and cricket what words come to your mind when you think of play and cricket let's see maybe ipl sachin 
then uh, what words come to your mind when you think of um, play plus cricket plus sachin so maybe you know 100 century or maybe uh, play plus cricket plus sachin is god so put that word what what whatever words come for example for this for this demo i have just put two or three branches but they could go on multiple they could go in all directions all the way okay so as you keep writing let the flow go on do not bother about symmetry do not bother about beauty do not bother about aesthetics what i mean by that is don't bother ke okay here there are five words so now on every branch i have to wear have five words not necessary it can one of the branches may go on further in a direction or some other branches may be just left over there like that only some may have separate detail level of thinking for example um, you may have a branch where you have uh, cricket sachin 100 what else can come over there maybe runs <clears throat> maybe wickets batsmen and that branch can go on and on it's perfectly fine you can keep going into fourth level fifth level sixth level as much as you want let's say drama what comes to you my, your mind from play and drama there could be actor script let's say play and fun there can be carom video let's say play fun and carom you have family play fun and video you may have uh, pubg or whatever more thoughts keep coming to your mind okay your word is not play this is just an example okay i'll give you the real word um let's say play and friends you have football and uh, play friends and football what words come to your mind okay rain watch you know multiple words can come in and it can go on and on you may have even five more words that can come from play friends football you may think of um, the ball you may think of goal you may think of run uh, not run sorry goal you may think of um, goli you can think of all the things that come to your mind from play friends and football maybe um, watch play friends football watch can bring to your mind as uh, tv or uh, ground now even though ground is already there it is getting repeated in this branch is perfectly fine allow it to be repeated the thing is that now the word is coming to you in a different context from a different association altogether okay let's see more let's say ground now ground again you have hockey football it's okay to repeat the words because the connections are now changing let's say play and exercise you have endurance stamina and let's say play exercise endurance you may think of cardio you may think of uh, yoga all of that it can go on and on the best part about this entire process is that there is no limit your only limit is the limit of time which i will give you okay so um, let me again recap the rules for you rule number 1 the word which i tell you you will draw it in the center of the circle okay rule number 2 whatever words come to your mind you will quickly draw branches and start drawing start writing the word on top of the branches rule number 3 seek connections between first word and second word the main center word and the first branch keep expanding keep expanding keep expanding and uh, rule number 4 which is which is very very important um when you are writing do not stop use your hand like a machine gun let's say you are just firing just keep writing all the way just go all the way okay will you ever stop in this process what will make you stop answer this question if at all and whenever you stop what is it that could make you stop will you ever run out of ideas what do you think there is no limit to ideas what will make you stop then 
you will stop only if either your hand is paining or you will stop when you start judging yourself yes pradeep if you are stopping which means you are stopping to evaluate are ye word sahi hai ya nahi should this word come over here or it should go there don't bother the word has come to your mind just put the word if a word comes to your mind which let's say doesn't fit into any of these connections okay create another branch create another main branch link it to the main word again judging means that you may think that oh this word has nothing to do with this let's say we are talking about uh, play and the word comes to your mind as chair now you may say chair has nothing to do with play choro i will not put the word don't do that put the word create another branch put the word for chair now think play plus chair what word comes to your mind yes chess chess yeah that is a game which can be played sitting on chair it could be chess what else musical chair yeah you can have music it could be chess it could be musical chairs so then musical has come to your mind so after chair on the next branch you put musical and this is the point when we judge we are judging from the point of view of our conscious processes our logical thinking but please trust your brain your brain is smarter than what you think it is your brain has already seen the connection before you saw it logically and consciously and that is where the brain came up with the answer as chair even before you could logically connect it to what it could be okay so rule number 4 very important do not judge yourself just keep going on just keep going in the flow okay are we all set so i will give you the word just one more point of caution uh make sure you write the word on top of the branch do not do something like this don't don't draw the branch and then write the word and then again draw the next branch and then write the word don't do like this okay there is a science to it there is a reason to that which i will tell you as we go ahead in the program write the word on top of the branch like this so that your word is there on the branch and then you have made connections your your branches should connect with each other and if you write after the branch then the connection is missing there is a psychological purpose for it so right now for the purpose of this exercise please do it this way and then i'll tell you more about the details of the entire process all right are we ready are we ready for the word yes sir yeah great so your word is happiness take 2 3 seconds to draw whatever happiness means draw it in the center of the circle and then start branching out go all the way don't stop till i tell you
I want everyone to participate. Do this on paper and pen. Two minutes more. Okay, let's stop over here. So how was this process of thinking? I would like someone to share. How was the process of thinking and uh, compared to the earlier process of making the words, what was the difference that you felt? You can type in the chat box. Thought provoking, right? Yeah. What else? You can raise your hand. I would like to, if someone would like to volunteer and share the difference. For people who are on the Zoom. Yeah, joining the dots. Yes. What else? What was different that about this particular process compared to the earlier one? Linking words with meaning. Yeah. Limit. Was there a limit? Expansion of thoughts. Yes. Wow. Yeah. Focus on thinking. Unlimited thinking, right? It's There is no limit at all. It just keeps going on and on. This process is so immersive that if I were to allow you to do this for another 10 minutes also, you can go on and on. Would you agree? 
yes it's it's like involving your entire self because you are putting yourself into it and what makes it different from the earlier one you would say even in the earlier one you were putting yourself into it right even when you made the words from the word work and you were writing it one below the other okay tell me how many words you got from this one compared to the earlier one did you get more or less yeah certainly more yeah yeah earlier it was not organized now it is more organized yes you got many more now what else yeah i'm also seeing the comments on youtube wonderful making busy through brain okay interesting yeah it's a self realization true your thoughts are getting connected exactly there is a connection of thoughts one with the other i'll tell you the science behind it the the principles behind both the different processes as i told you earlier the first process that we did where we write one below the other that's the way we are normally conditioned to do that is called as uh, linear thinking linear is often in one particular direction it's like going one below the other and uh, right now what you did with happiness that process is called as radiant thinking radiant thinking because it actually opens up your thought processes to make you think in 360 degrees it's a holistic way of thinking where you think from all directions it also ensures that you don't miss out on any thoughts because it encourages you to come up with more thoughts because of the power of association and connections with the earlier words now imagine if you were doing it in a linear way and you had a certain flow of thoughts and you were writing as per that flow of thoughts one below the other let's say you were talking about play and you spoke about and you were writing all the words that came to your mind from cricket now you wrote cricket and then you thought of um, sachin you wrote about sachin you wrote about ipl god or whatever you wrote up all that and then you thought about uh, uh, drama play drama so you wrote drama and you went on to actors and script and all that and what happened to sachin what happened to cricket that got cut off because you have started the next flow one below the other that is the limitation of linear thinking in radiant thinking what happened is that although you had written the um, sachin and all the aspects related to cricket you started writing for uh, acting and drama and all but that sachin wala field is still open those branches are still open so you can obviously go back over there and start expanding and reconnecting and forming new words when you look at the mind map again you are able to see oh wow this thought that thought your focus is not to um, not to forcibly fill on words in any direction but just allow the words that come to you and then put it in the right way wherever it belongs if it doesn't belong anywhere create a new branch as simple as that the power of radiant thinking is because uh, it is the most natural way of thinking we don't naturally think linearly we don't think that okay let me finish this thought and then the other thought comes it doesn't happen that way when we are thinking we go all over the place in our mind as well what this process does when you are putting it on paper it is allowing us to put the things on paper exactly the way in which they are in our head that is the power of radiant thinking because there are open loops in our head as well we can always come back to that and we can start building on it provided we can see it as being open otherwise in linear thinking it's all packed it's over that thought is cut off and now we are on a different thought if by default we can think of something it will come if can't it will not come like you saw it happening in the process yourself right so friends uh, before i move ahead i want to congratulate all of you for making your first mind map if you have not done it before so this was a process of doing a mind map so wonderful how are you feeling about it
look at the mind map what 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 do you feel about what you wrote about what thoughts you put down about happiness what does it make you feel you can write down yeah memories got revisited wonderful how many of you all were able to bring back happiness moments and um, emotions of happiness while you were doing this how many of you all felt reconnected with your own self yes how many of you all uh, went to the extent of uh, making branches even at the third level fourth level fifth level first level second level i'm sure everybody would have done yeah fourth level wonderful how did that feel when you went on further when you went on further into fourth fifth level it could have been asymmetrical it could have been in some some branches it went deeper and deeper some branches were just stopped at the first or second level also but where you felt felt deeper how did that feel and this is important how was that feeling when you went deeper and deeper those thoughts which come on the fourth fifth level when you go beyond that that is really coming in from your subconscious levels look at your mind map again whatever you put at the first level you will see ha ye to thoda sa template jaisa hai you know these are more like um, yeah the, it's it's true yeah this is their friends are their family is there uh, sports is there hobby is there music is there whatever you have put right i can guess most of us we do it that way only the first level thoughts which come out then uh, within friends what maybe one more level we have our best friends our moments when we were there with them okay then what third level then what fourth level then what fifth level then what it goes deeper and deeper and now what comes out is no longer necessarily from your conscious thinking you are exploring from your subconscious levels now which somewhere gets missed out when you are doing linear thinking if i were to ask you yeah now nah, thank you dr shefali it's more liberating right it yeah at the higher level it's more from a social level but when you go deeper it's more from the from the connected level yeah more closer to heart yes maya yes um if i were to ask you this question look at your mind map and now if i tell you to to write a a book on happiness write a book of let's say only 50 pages okay it's your book you are the author of the book what happiness means to you would you be able to do it now of course amazing right how many of you all are uh, budding or aspiring authors over here who have a dream of writing a book one fine day let me tell you most aspiring and budding authors get stuck in the process of writing a book because they think that oh i have to put it all together how do i put the language and structure and everything and we get lost in that process well uh, before you get into language structure sentences gra grammar and all what do you need you need your ideas and now you have the ideas you can now build up you can put it in your own words your ideas are there your book is there with you in front of you right now and you can write that book what happiness means to you this is also the secret of most of the best selling authors most authors who have written hundreds of books tony buzan was the inventor of mind maps and tony buzan has almost 130 books to his credit he has authored 130 books 
what has he done he has prepared a ideation mind map and then he has figured out what to put in the language structure everything and made a book so this this activity that you did right now this was a demonstration of using mind map for the purpose of generating ideas from the point of view of using it for creativity many writers have this writers block you know they are not able to write more or what do we do the writers block is coming because you are getting too much stuck into language and uh, structure allow your ideas to flow make it a immersive process like the way you did right now allow it to go to fourth level fifth level sixth level in all directions spread it out and your book is ready your article is ready if you are writing a uh, for a newsletter your your newsletter article is ready your blog is ready if you want to make a podcast your script is ready at least the the skeleton of the script is ready in form of the mind map if you want to make a youtube video your video is ready go shoot a video what happiness means to you or whatever topic you want to write on isn't this so empowering of course get it thank you so the uh, mind map is the swiss army knife of the brain because there are multiple multiple applications for this idea generation is just one of it mind map is also a very very uh, important tool when it comes to um, to uh, doing a self introspection like right now you did about what happiness means to you but if you were to think about what are your strengths weaknesses what are your likes dislikes your entire self analysis you can do it that way through a mind map i'll show you some examples as well what are your goals what is it that you want to achieve what is your vision for the future maybe for yourself maybe for your organization maybe for your uh, children whatever area of life you want to work on you can elaborate further in form of a mind map your business planning yeah one i think i saw one of the comments over here that an entire business plan can be put in form of a mind map exactly even presentations can be made in form of a mind map i'll show you some examples of that as well and uh, since um, most of you rather all of you here are from the education uh, field i will also show you examples of how mind map can be used in education i am also a visiting faculty with uh, jamnalal bajaj institute of management studies and i teach financial accounting there even a subject like accounting i present and summarize in the form of a mind map from time to time i'll show you some mind maps from for um, for um, use for educational purposes too so basically what is a mind map we've already discussed but just to summarize it is a creativity and an productivity enhancing technique it improves your learning and efficiency not only of individuals also of organizations you can do it as a group as well it's about capturing your ideas and insights on paper the way they are sitting in your head and the inventor of uh, mind maps tony buzan uh, he has said that you know the human brain does not think in toolbars and lists it thinks organically naturally like all natural forms if you see our human body if you see the the nature the branches of the trees the veins in a leaf they are all radiant they are not linear there is no straight line in nature and that's exactly how brain works even our even the the biological structure of our brain the nucleus and the dendrites doesn't it resemble what we just did isn't it like a mind map so when we are thinking our thinking becomes more powerful when we use a tool which exactly reflects that organic natural flow and that's what mind mapping is all about another aspect of mind mapping compared to the linear way of thinking is um, you may have you may be knowing about this theory of the left brain and the right brain and again to present this theory i am using a mind map over here 
imagine if i was to present this in a form of a bullet point ppt i how interesting would that be or rather how boring or monotonous would that be but here i have a colorful mind map in front of me to show you the two hemispheres and their dominance the left hemisphere is dominantly utilized for uh, words numbers lines lists logic analysis and the right hemisphere dominance is for rhythm shape colors map imagination daydreaming ideation all of that linear thinking makes use of the left hemisphere and especially if we are doing linear thinking using a monochromic ink generally we use black or blue we are fitting it more into the left brain dominance tell me i am asking you this question i want an answer from you all what about a mind map does the mind map use left brain or right brain what do you think right yeah it's both actually see right brain is there because there is lot of color you can put color right now in the demo one i didn't ask you to put color but you can enhance the effectiveness of a mind map by using color there is um, drawing there are shapes there is a lot of imagination association all of, all of that so there is right brain but it's not just a a crazy flow there is a method to the madness it's not just random use of uh, drawing and uh, visuals there is a logic to it there is a connection there is an association there are uh, words you are putting on that and therefore another important uh, uh, point that goes in favor of mind mapping is that it is a whole brain thinking process it utilizes both the hemispheres of your brain it encourages you to come up with more thoughts not just your uh, traditional left brain thinking but also your right brain thinking for people who are already uh, right brain dominant who are already in the creative field it also encourages them to apply certain logic analysis and kind of balances the two and that's where again the importance for enhancing the use of a mind map another simple mind map without the use of uh, much drawing is this one the brain functions what are the functions of a brain simply put you know there could be receiving information holding information analyzing information outputting the information and controlling the information the processing and everything and of course there are a lot of sub branches over here but i'm not going into much detail of all these functions because what matters to us is if we were to put all of these functions in two broad categories what does the brain do two things what the brain does is thinking and linking in more uh, sophisticated words we can call it imagination and association and mind mapping is a process which takes care of both of these it utilizes or engages what your brain really loves to do imagination and association so here is a mind map of the uses of mind map i'll quickly go through this i'll take you through this so you can stay with me and see how this mind map is used uh to to indicate uh what a mind map can be used for it's an example of using mind maps for presentation so that's the first one over here on the on the top right as you see presentations when you're planning a presentation you're writing a presentation delivering a presentation you can show the whole picture right the the second main branch is uh, planning inspirational planning business planning proposal strategy 
team planning together project management mind maps are also very effective during meetings i'll show you example where a mind map is used for uh, creating an agenda for the meeting and then that same mind map is used for uh, recording the minutes of the meeting as well for creativity as we just did right now you know ideation thinking process brainstorming for development planning your goals performance coaching appraisals even when you are appraising people or you know putting your uh, what went well what didn't go well what situations you want to appraise the other person all on all of that your personal goal setting i'll show you examples of that as well uh, note taking so in fact um, from here on in this particular session i would encourage you to make notes of this particular uh, session with a mind map just do it for practice i'm sure you are already making notes with in linear form instead of linear form see if you can use a mind map even if you are using monotonous mo monochromic it's fine right now if you are just using a single color pen also it's fine you can enhance it by using multiple color pens that will be even better so project management and recall mind map is a very effective tool for recalling let's say if you are giving out handouts of your session to your students by way of a mind map that handout will have more recall than um than a notes than a handouts of notes you may want to give notes as well because in the exam they have to anyway reproduce in form of linear right that you may not be able to change but at least the the thinking process can be changed because how they think about it how they remember it so it's a very powerful tool for enhancing your memory and recall so talking of planning where would you like to use mind map when it comes to planning can you use it for day to day planning and what kind of day to day planning would you like to use it for what do we do in day to day planning yes things to do your to do list again to do list how do we have we have usually a linear fashion of to do list i would like to encourage you invite you to make your to do in the form of a mind map instead of a to do list have a to do mind map that's the simplest way you can start putting it to use one more thing i want to caution you over here you know when most people understand oh wow mind mapping is so beautiful so colorful it's a it's a diagram what they start doing which is not the right thing is they start making a list they think linearly and then they transcript they transfer this into a mind map and then they use mind map for beautification well let me tell you that is that will defeat the entire purpose of a mind map i would encourage you to use mind map as a thinking tool more than a presenting tool you can also use it as a presenting tool like right now in this one i used it as a presenting tool right when i was using it for use of mind map but preliminary tool has to be mainly for a thinking tool because that is where you are able to utilize your more potential of your own brain power and even if it's not that beautiful it's okay because as a thinking tool need not be beautiful and if at all you want to present it you may want to fine tune it or even if you just present the way you have done it no big deal because that's how you came up with it so talking of planning not just daily planning even monthly planning weekly planning what i'm sharing with you over here is a person from tony buzan's team his name is phil chambers uh, he prepares a mind map for uh, for his monthly planning so this 
he has shared with Tony Buzan and um, he has put it in one of his books. Um, this is a real example of his planning for the month of May 2008. So his overview, his all the reports, all his key critical success factors, strategies, plans, what support he needs from whom, all of that is planned in the form of a mind map. And the beauty of this is that this does not have to be a, a one-time thing. It, it's not a static planning tool. It's dynamic. You can go back and edit and add on to it as the month goes on. Uh, this is a simple example of you know note taking when uh, when you are with your telephone you have you often make notes when a call comes in the olden days when we had a tele or even now if you have a telephone on your uh, table a landline we usually have a notepad next to it with lines drawn on it how about using a template like this where whatever you want to record as a takeaway from that you write over there you add on to it project planning who all are required, what needs to be done, by when, all the planning can be done through a mind mapping. Um, this is a, again a real life example of a project planning which was done by an educational institute. They have this template for all their projects that they come up with. So this template, again, as I told you earlier, the first level branches are often like the logical conscious level templates. What should be there? This template is used for all kinds of planning and then you go on and on. So this is a template and let me show you where it is actually utilized. This is their geography book project that they were coming up with. And they and, uh, kept on building up on the various branches and they put on things on, you know, what they have to do, who has to do it, by when and all of that. And you see how some of the branches are going further in detail. Some of the branches, there's nothing. It may not be pertinent or relevant to the project. So that's fine. The idea is more to use it for thinking. Wherever you are thinking, use a mind map. Wherever you, you are using your mind, use it with a mind map. So a few quick examples. I'm not going into much detail over here because I want to show you more mind maps related to uh, related to education. Uh, this is an example of a seminar which was conducted by Tony Buzan. And one of the participants made his notes through a mind map, using a mind map. So this is the notes of the participant. Now, whenever the participant wants to revise the session, all he has to do is go through the mind map. And especially when you have made your own mind map, it enhances the recall of that entire session as well, because you have engaged your own um, mind and kind of aesthetic faculties while preparing this mind map. So that much more powerful it is when you recall what happened. So even when you're, uh, if you teach this tool to your students and ask them to make mind maps of your sessions of their notes that they are making in the form of a mind map, you will see how powerful the recall will be of that. Again, another example, event planning in all detail. We've already seen this so like a project planning. This is an event planning, uh, travel planning. Family events over the week. I told you about Tony Buzan. If I were to share with you who Tony Buzan is and what are his achievements and all, uh, that can actually go into pages. It could run over a lot and lot of pages in the form of text. And how much of that would you be inclined to read would depend on your interest about the subject. But here you have a one page CV of who Tony Buzan was. One snapshot of all the achievements. He's an author, 
Uh, he was an educator for children, parents, and teachers. He was not only a mental sportsman; he was also a physical sports athlete. He was uh, one considered with one of the highest IQ in the world. He was all over the media in all the continents. He was an advisor to various governments and MNCs as well. His achievements are that he initiated the uh, World Memory Championships, and as Dr. Shefali uh, mentioned in the intro, I have also had the honor of participating in one of them, and I got got the thirteenth rank All India in that. He was also the pioneer of uh, speed reading championships, and he has his own mind mapping software as well, which is called as I Mind Map. So. a lot of things which he has initiated and this is like a one page uh, profile of tony buzan how interesting it would be for you to create your own uh, cv your own resume in the form of a mind map what do you think all your achievements all your experience education qualifications all in one mind map and i'm going to now present to you uh, uh, my introduction in the form of a mind map here it is i am india's first and only coach trainer and speaker in the 3 w's of life that is wealth wisdom and wellness and over last 5 years i have done more than 600 workshops trained more than 4500 people across more than 12 nationalities that's who i am right now my educational qualification is i'm a chartered accountant cost accountant masters in financial management i've done uh, international leadership development program from thunderbird university usa a diploma in ifrs from acca london a short course from isb hyderabad on role of a cfo a certified financial planner chartered wealth manager these are my education qualification my um, 18 years of corporate experience in companies like uh, price order of scoopers legro johnson controls nissan motors and hover automotive and my designations they are all presented in a one snapshot over here on the screen and my certifications in the field of training and coaching i'm a certified life coach from icf international coach federation i'm an internationally certified trainer in neuro linguistic programming which is a language of the mind and uh, that reminds me i'm coming up with a, another next batch of my online course on nlp is happening from 29 june if you are interested you can get in touch with me so that's a different thing um brainable is where i have been uh, authorized and uh, trained to teach mind mapping speed reading memory techniques and creative thinking i am a gold medalist master trainer of a memory system called musical windows it's a very powerful memory system for remembering uh, numbers and figures and digits i am a certified trainer of uh, gtd that is um, getting things done i'm certified from the author who is david allen then emotional skills emotional fitness gym also physical fitness trainer from k11 fitness academy so if i were to have a a, a presentation which would go into um, bullet points it would be boring for you to see it and um, even my i have a normal profile of a cv which goes into 3 4 pages but along with that i also use this to present to my clients to my uh, participants and it creates a impact in one shot and this is what you can do because all of us have some great things to share and what a mind map uses over here is the power of imagination association it's one of the most brain brain friendly tools where you are able to connect with people and share your point as well so that's about me
so i would encourage you all to make your own mind map where you use or rather your own cv in the form of a mind map another powerful way of using mind map like i mentioned earlier is uh, your self introspection like what you did for happiness what makes you happy but it can be in all different directions it can be what are your likes your dislikes your responsibilities your desires what makes you happy what are your deepest values what what makes you afraid what are your fears what are your anxieties all of this it can actually blow up to something as beautiful like this if i would encourage you to do this okay and uh, maybe you can share on my email you can send it to me i'll share my email uh, details with you later on at the end when you are doing a self analysis some of the useful branches to have are uh, your likes your dislikes your desires your hopes your worries your fears what you love about your work what you would like to change about your work what you love about your family what you would like to change about your family more like you know just getting in touch with yourself when when was the last time you did this kind of introspection hardly right we hardly sit with this this is absolutely meditative and immersive and uh, the by product of that is you get to know yourself so much better goal setting i told you how we can use mind maps and goal setting as well um it's like you know in which areas of your life you want to excel in in each of those areas where are you now what is your target by when you want to achieve it and uh, how do you want to achieve it this is again a template at a at a surface level at the first level but when you go further into detail you can have something like this according to you which area what time by what duration you want to achieve what all of that it's in one shot another application where uh, you can use it is uh, your own vision of five years down the line how do you see yourself and this is very powerful because this is when i had the privilege of attending tony robbins live workshop when he was in india in mumbai in uh, 2011 he had asked us all to prepare a mind map of what we want to achieve in 2015 so in 2011 i had drawn a mind map and um, this is the picture of that mind map and this is where uh, this particular mind map is even autographed by tony buzen and as you see then i was a more plumpy guy that time now with all my uh, fitness consciousness and all i am more uh, leaner and slimmer and my picture over there was also of a leaner me as you see the central image over there and all the branches that i had put out and uh, i would be the biggest testimony for this because you know i have been able to achieve most of the things that i had put over there by 2015 i actually achieved it that was the power of the visioning exercise of mind mapping So I would encourage you to do this. What do you see yourself achieving in 2025? So now let me give you some more examples. I'll uh, before we wrap up on uh, how you can use mind mapping in education. because i think that is what most of us are interested in as well this is a mind map of uh, literature the entire uh, field of literature 
what are the typical genres in that fiction crime poetry thinking business uh what are the typical books in that the authors in that you know you can go on and on in detail so whatever subject you are taking that you are you are you are into this could be a high level mind map of that subject this is a mind map of um biochemical processes in plants so photosynthesis glucose what are the nutrients in the roots what are the external processes which which happen all of that is put in the form of a mind map english grammar example of parts of speech and you see here a particular pattern is being observed over here because you know uh, the the part of speech is there let's say verb is there how do you describe that what is a verb it's an action word and that action word is put in a box and then what are the tenses regular words irregular verbs and then there are examples and then there are dotted branches going back and linking it to the main one so what is this an example of so which is an example of regular which is an example of irregular for example in adverbs so same process you see where for example noun if you see the blue branch for noun what are the examples of it's coming it's possible to interlink or cross link branches in the mind map as well now let's say you want to get into further details of uh, irregular verbs and you want to have a complete mind map only of irregular verbs here it is so to what extent of detailing you want to go you may go to detailing of an entire topic further getting into it or you may want to have a high level view whatever it is of that particular topic you can make your own mind map a mind map of uh, types of uh, snakes now this is an example of a mind map at a high level where you have one branch for each snake but i may go into further detailing as well i'll give you another example of a mind map which is at a detail level which is um, the bird classifications what you see over here is a entire um, uh extract from a from a encyclopedia where you have the main branch and then you have the their properties and you can in fact also have a separate mind map for individual classification it's entirely up to you or you can keep going out in details and also how the species looks like overview that diagram is also put in another example from chemistry acid and alcohol what happens when they are put together all of that is put in this mind map this is another example of a mind map which is in black and white there is no color but still very effective to explain what you want to explain you see the use of creativity over here this is a mind map of statistics the central image is a statistical diagram now if you are talking about range range is difference between largest and smallest and see how largest is written see how uh, smallest is written see how pie chart is drawn see how bar chart is drawn see how polygon is drawn it emphasizes what you want to represent another very beautiful mind map of uh, the body's major systems the sensory muscular skeletal reproductive endocrine excretory digestive respiratory cardiovascular immune system and see the use of the diagrams simple diagrams
see how the digestive system the branch itself is made like a intestine see how a breathing effect is put on respiratory system bones are drawn for skeletal it's a simple sketch but when you go into it you can use this to explain the entire body systems history kings of england you may choose to go in whatever detail you want or just an overview chhatrapati shivaji maharaj his entire life highlights summarized in a mind map dr ambedkar so historical figures role models autobiographies all of that can be put in a mind map even uh, religious spiritual topics hanuman ji a mind map of top 10 exam tips by tony buzan this is a mind map which was shared on yoga day the 12 steps of surya namaskar and you see how mind map is used for sequencing as well there is a method to the madness and that's where it use, utilizes both the hemispheres of your brain that's why it is called the whole brain thinking and you have a branch for the mantra the pose the breathing that has to happen in each pose over here book summaries are also there in the form of a mind map head strong a book by tony buzan summarized in the form of a mind map this is a very very powerful book mind maps for business and yes uh, there is a comment that uh, mind maps can be used in professional environment in business by hr professionals for mapping the entire departments yes all that is also found in this particular book too there are a lot of examples of mind maps in the business field in this particular book how to make business plans through mind maps yes even product designing all of that can be done through mind maps this is a, a mind map of my workshop on uh, getting things done as a certified trainer of that this is the entire one day workshop summarized in the mind map another mind map of a book getting to yes and in fact you will find lot of mind maps if you go to this particular site called biggerplate.com you will find mind maps over there of books book summaries in the form of a mind map and uh, you can download them and you can uh, expand them to go into how much ever detail you want another example from the same website the now habit okay talking from a from a corporate professional perspective uh, boeing has gone on record to say that um, they condense their entire um, aeronautical engineering manual into a long mind map of 25 feet and uh, that help their 100 senior aeronautical engineers to learn in few weeks what used to take them few years to learn and they have claimed that they have got a savings of 11 million dollars through the use of this particular mind map so that's a hard savings isn't it so a lot of mind maps and you can use it in business presentations and lot more applications are there of a mind map you can do yourself a swot analysis through mind map yeah let me share with this share you this also which i was telling you earlier this is a live example of a company which uses a mind map for its meetings this is a template then agenda is put on this 
and then minutes of meeting are also put on the same one and then of course for the normal sake of documentation these mind maps are converted into text form by a person who will do that the secretary but the thinking tool which is used is mind mapping So just to share some more examples, team success mind map. This is the way normally people do their uh, SWOT analysis. The four boxes, and they put in their SWOT. I would encourage you to do it more powerfully like this. Use a mind map. This is a template from the book uh, Mind Maps for Business by Tony Buzan. Okay, uh, business plan in the form of a mind map. Presentations in the form of a mind map. So there are multiple, multiple ways in which you can use a mind map. And I repeat, wherever you use a mind map, wherever you use your mind, use it with a mind map. So final summarization. All these are the uses of a mind map. And actually, a survey was done by Tony Buzan's team. that where do people use mind map the survey is also from the book mind mapping for business and uh, you see how people use mind map for to do for pre for preparing presentations for note taking problem solving project planning product planning also knowledge management you know decision making group brainstorming you can do mind mapping in groups as well you and your team member both do separate mind maps and then you can collate it together and put all your ideas together so that's it from my side and my final mind map is about where you can stay connected with me you can drop me an email or you can i am connected on social media as well my facebook handles my twitter handle linkedin instagram my direct phone number is also here for you to get in touch with me so i hope you enjoyed the session i hope you will use mind maps in all possible ways of your life wherever you are using your mind use it with a mind map thank you i'm open for discussion or questions from your side uh thank you sir thank you very much for this wonderful session uh we have one question over here are yeah. there any softwares available to help in mind mapping yes there are plenty of software available if you search on the google you'll find uh, a recommended software is i mind map it's now called aoa which is a y o a the previous version was i mind map i i use i mind map all the mind maps which i have made of my own cv this particular mind map which is there it is from i i mind map I mind map is a paid software why i recommend this is that it is from the domain of tony buzan however there are other free software as well like xmind mindjet mind manager if you search on the google you will find them all okay sir so one more question uh, yeah. what to do if we get stuck up while drafting the mind map ah good question you are not drafting a mind map okay if you are thinking you are drafting a mind map you will get stuck up because drafting means correctly hona chahiye how can i make it perfect just allow your thought thoughts to flow whatever thought is coming just go with it it could be random it may feel uh, disconnected like the example i told you of a chair and play but whatever thought comes let it flow if for whatever reason thoughts are not coming then take a break come back to it later sometimes you just need a break and thoughts may start flowing in later on i hope that answers the question okay so, so one last question yeah. uh, please tell me the use of mind mapping for designing a product look and uh, and design as a product manager yes so what elements you want in the product what do you want it you can you can have your own uh, features benefits descriptions designing all that can be put in the form of a mind map you can have a main branch for that and then you can um uh, flow in all directions with that as well 
ओके सर सर थैंक यू सो मच शेफाली मैम ओवर टू यू या थैंक यू मुरुगेश वी हैव ऑलमोस्ट कम टू द एंड ऑफ द सेशन बट बिफोर वी वाइंड अप इट्स अ प्रिविलेज फॉर मी टू प्रपोज अ वोट ऑफ थैंक्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वुड लाइक शेफाली मैम आई एम नॉट एबल टू हियर यू हेलो कैन यू हियर मी नाउ सर या हेलो द वॉल्यूम इज वेरी लेस can you hear me now hello uh ma'am your volume is very uh, low yeah but i have kept it on full actually okay fine Haan. okay yeah yeah i would like to uh, take this opportunity to thank uh, our management and principal madam for uh, being a constant support and guidance to us a big thank you goes to sir for taking up this whole session on mind mapping and we have finally understood as to what this mind maps are it's not only just about uh, thinking with a uh, right brain or with a left brain it's a combination it's a holistic development it's a method uh, it is a knife because it goes much deeper it becomes a kind of a liberated uh, method of uh, putting up your ideas into a piece of paper uh, it uh, has really helped all of us to become more creative more pro- uh, productive and at the same time it uh, also gives a kind it, it's a kind of a meditation that we can do it because we are going much deeper into the aspects of what we want to achieve so thank you very much sir for those uh, wonderful uh, uh, way in which you have presented and you have given a presentation it was a very interactive session uh, i would also like to extend my thanks to all my teaching staff non teaching staff a special thanks goes to my uh, colleagues uh, young colleagues professor mayur and professor murugesh for their constant uh, support uh, technical support and guidance and above all to all the people who have joined us for this uh, webinar thus making this webinar a great success once again a big thank you to all of you thank you have a good day hello ma'am with your permission uh, can we end the session yeah principal thank ma'am you, can we thank you everyone yes yes absolutely thank you once again from all of us thank you ma'am thanks okay i'm ending the session thank you yeah uh, mayur just tell that the certificates will be um, the yeah I'll, I'll, i'll tell it uh, and uh, then feedback just... link yeah feedback feedback form. link is uh, has been activated so on zoom also it is available and on youtube platform also you can see it in the description box so click the link and do fill the feedback form because certificates will be issued based on your feedback only